Minecraft is a big game, 60 million blocks cubed to be exact. And ever since the Far Lands became the world's border, this has been a precise limit. However, when we start to think about some other concepts in the game, such as distance relationships between the overworld and the nether, it begs the question, what happens when the nether and the world's border collide? As you may know, the nether is a weird place when it comes to distance. One block in the nether equates to eight blocks in the overworld. So how does this behave at the world's border? After all, both dimensions have a border of 30 million blocks. So when I build a portal in the nether, at the world's border, how does the game react in the overworld? Let's start in reverse. A portal at the overworld border takes me to 3,750,000 blocks in the nether. This still gives me 26,250,000 nether blocks to work with. So what do our nether portals do in this significant percentage of the nether? Well, the outcome is a little disappointing. Any portal built in this region will spit you out in the overworld approximately 100 blocks within the world border. This means no hopping out free in the far lands for Steve. While it would be nice to have a technique to travel even further than the world border, it is understandable why Mojang set this limit, as the world border is there for a reason. The further away from spawn a player gets, the more the fundamental calculations the game makes to generate terrain and track entities begins to break down. Mojang decided that 30 million blocks should still give the player enough room to work with, without allowing them to go too deep into the algorithm and begin seeing the dark side of Minecraft. I will link to some additional resources in the description, including videos and wiki pages. Thanks for watching.